Well, it's Nick here again for the 33 Hot Rod update. It's Easter Sunday, 2022, and uh, we've uh, made a few milestones. Within the last week or so, the roof has been installed and bolted down. Nice gasket put in. Many thanks to Todd Dixon at Dixon's Auto Body. He was here to help me do this because it's definitely a two-man job. And uh, done some other things inside the vehicle, and I'll go through them right now. Of course, uh, I think there's already a video showing the interior and everything that has gone in. The door panels, etc. have gone on. And uh, we had to make some adjustments on the driver's seat because old Nick here is a little taller than uh, than uh, Julie. And so this seat got lowered two inches compared to the uh, passenger seat, primarily just by taking off the uh, seat risers. And again, thanks to Todd, he made new bracketry so that uh, we could bolt this thing down in the existing holes that we had. And so she's down and I fit. Just barely, but I fit, and that's a good thing. Uh, the other thing that we noticed is, well, we went with a single Mighty Wiper. Now, that's a Mighty Wiper with a one and a half inch stem, and uh, you have to, you know, sort of make this outside piece the same shape as the roof and put a rubber gasket around it. It isn't pretty, but it'll work. There's very little likelihood this will ever get used, but it does work. And uh, we wired it. From the inside, drilled a hole behind, and fished the wire down and through the A-pillar until it came out the bottom here. And then we'll run it over to the other side where the uh, plug, uh, sorry, there's a plug in. I've got all the wiring set up already for a wiper, which will be controlled by uh, one of the switches in that bank. And uh, I'll have to put the dashboard back on now because, uh, you know, we needed access to get underneath there. And it uh, went on pretty tidy, so she's bolted down nice. I got those plugs to fill in, the headliner to put on, a few things to button up on the interior, bolt down those switch panels, and uh, pretty much she's done um, for that. And then, of course, uh, we got the hood release put in and uh, mounted it into the inner rocker panel on this side where the trunk release would normally be. That's where the hood release is because the trunk release is in a different place in the back of the car. And of course we did the front end alignment. Had my friend Ryan Bonifero come over from Bonifero Speed and Custom. And uh, he helped me make sure that the alignment in the front, the towing is correct, the camber is feeling correct. Although when I get it on a rack, we'll do uh, an actual front end alignment, but it's good enough right now for me to start mounting the fenders which are up there and the running boards and buttoning this thing up uh, the next couple of jobs that i'll do before that is get the power windows and put the gaskets around the power windows and get the power windows to uh, stop at the top and stop at the bottom that's a function of the uh, infinity box system i'll have to uh, use the get the instructions out on how to do that but other than that, uh, she's getting ready to get buttoned up and finalized. And that's the update.